So, uh, good evening, everybody. And um, as just been said, I'm I'm Councillor Phil Riley. I'm the leader of Blackburn with Darwin Council. Um, firstly, just to say thank you very much for your volunteering. Um, I mean, I, I think I recognise, or we recognise, that it's a, a commitment. It's you've you've agreed to come for a uh, a number of sessions. Um, and I think, I mean, and, and you know, we just we just really want to say thank you for that. So, uh, I mean, clearly without your attendance, this concept of a sort of citizen's jury would, <laughs> wouldn't work <laughs> because you are the citizens that we require. Um, but just to give you a, a tiny bit of background, I mean, we as a council, we, um, we declared a climate emergency in 2019 um, and we set ourselves the sort of target of uh, the council being net zero by 2030, which uh, is probably a bit of a stretch and it compares with a, a, a number of places have big, you know, settled on 2030, I think Greater Manchester did. Um, the, uh, and the, the reason we settled on 2030 was quite simply because you know, we recognise the seriousness of the circumstances and the fact that um, if we'd gone for 2050, it feels just a bit like kicking the, you know, the can down the road. So the idea of 2030 was just to get some energy into the, into the whole concept of it. So that's, that's what we did. I mean, it, it's, it's a clearly hugely important issue. I mean, some, you know, some people would argue that it is as important as any issue that any of us have to deal with. It's got a, a long-term story or a, a, a medium to long-term story, even a short-term story. I mean, I, I think this is the hottest summer we've had in this country for, um, I think, ever. Certainly in my garden, here's an interesting thing. We have a vine, and this year we've grown bunches of red grapes. Now, previously, it's just put out, I mean, we've had it for about 30 years. Uh, we've had this, this vine, like, just goes everywhere, and it puts out tiny little sort of bits of greenery. Anyway, this year, we have a whole set of bunches of red grapes. Now, I, th I presume that says something about the temperatures well, yeah, on, on which... It, it, well, it, well, yeah, so, it, well, no, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to pick them and see what we can make of them. But anyway, you know, I mean, presumably, you know, next year there'll be, there'll be plenty more of them. But you know, I mean, you know, all, all joking apart, in the end, you know, if the if all the signs and all the indications are true, then there is there's no bigger an issue for us to, as as a human species, for us to address than the question of the changing climate and the impact that that's going to have as the world changes, the concept that there are places that will become uninhabitable, the idea that that might endanger mass migrations of people who will move because where they live just doesn't work for them anymore um, obviously the the sea level is rising anyone who watches any of the sort of David Attenborough programs on the television will see that in terms of what's happening in the um, in the Arctic and the Antarctic so it is it is a fantastically important thing particularly you know for the for our children and our children's children we wouldn't want to hand over a world where only a tiny proportion of it was was inhabitable. So that's that's the background, and I mean, I'm 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 guessing that some, if not all, of you will will be here because you kind of share some of those views in in whichever way it is. Um, and what we really want to come out of this is your assessment of what what's sensible, what we can do, what we should do, what everybody can do, because it it is a bit like I mean, it's not you know this thing. So at the end of it all, you're not going to produce a report that simply will become another sort of council report because it is in truth far more important than that. I mean what we've agreed I think between us is that what we'll aim to do is take a report to the council forum. So it, we have six council forums a year and we have one I'm pretty clear it'll be at the back end of January there it normally is. So that that will be the target really is to is is, is to pull together um, some of the findings, whatever your thoughts are, your recommendations, and we'll take a report to that. So that will give it some sort of maximum amount of publicity. Um, because, you know, we want people to know what you've been thinking about, where, where your thoughts go. So 
what we hope out of that is that uh, what you'll come up with is and this isn't me telling you the answer but it is to suggest that what you might come up with is some things that each individual can do uh, and some things which really organizations need to do of which the council clearly will be one of them so we'll we will take that and we'll turn that into some probably into some costings and things of that nature so i think that's that's really as much background as as you sort of need to hear from me um so really just again to say thank you you know thank you for your time um i mean I, yeah thank you for your time so yeah so uh, the three of us we will answer or try to answer any questions any of you may have um so please feel free